Hi, Mike and Deb from Love for Travel. And Kitty Boo Boo. On a tour of the most Northwest state in the US. On this episode, we are going to take you to the state of Washington. Where we make new friends, new adventures. We'll take you on a tour through some fields of lavender, meet some new friends, and see some buffalo. Oh, this is freaky. This is freaky. <laughs> Wheels down, time to roll. us have heard of lavender essential oils, but did you know there's lavender ice cream? Mike and I found ourselves in Squim, Washington on the last day of the annual Lavender Festival in July, a free three-day event when local lavender growers open their farms so that visitors can take tours, purchase everything lavender, and for about $10, you can grab a pair of scissors, wander the fields to cut your own fresh bouquet. stop on the tour was B&B Lavender Farms, who we were told had the best tour. I'd agree. There we stepped into a barn with hand-cut bouquets hanging from the rafters to the floor. According to our knowledgeable guide, Leah, there's two predominant species of lavender, English and French. If you love the scent of lavender, like me, then you'll love being immersed by the heavenly fragrance for this three-day event. Once a year, a convoy of 100 plus Volkswagen vehicles make a 10 day trek along the Pacific coast. Starting in Port Angeles, they travel end to end for 1700 miles to the Mexico border. We're camping here in Washington and I happen to run into Dave McDougall here. Hey, how are you? And he was filling me in about a Volkswagen trip from Canada all the way to Mexico. And how long have they been doing this? Okay, so this is the 24th year of doing this. The first couple of years were just a bunch of guys, but it's evolved into this amazing, well-organized, highly detailed event. You have a pretty cool Westphalia. Tell us about it. Okay, thanks. It's a 76 Westie camper bus, okay? And had it eight years, and we have been everywhere in this thing. We went to all the major league ballparks. That took four summers. So this bus, this iconic camper bus, as you're cruising down the road, people are giving you the peace sign, thumbs up, <laughs> saying hello. It takes 20 minutes to get gasoline because people come over with their stories. So this trip that you're on right now mm -hmm. starts tomorrow morning and it goes all the way from Canada to Mexico, right? It does. You know, I'm just glad to be a small part of it. This is going to be awesome. Yeah. Tomorrow morning, 9 a.m all the way to Mexico. Piece of cake. The next morning, Deb and I woke up early to catch day one of the 24th annual Treffen. 
As cars began rolling in, we went in search of the organizer and leader of the pack, Andre Toselli. We're here at the beautiful, what is this, a cape? A hook, they call it. Yeah. yeah. Sure. <laughs> sure. We're at a beautiful peninsula in Washington. It's like as far as you can go northwest of uh, contiguous United States. And I'm here with Andre, who's going to do this amazing drive down to Mexico with hundreds of Volkswagens, border to border. Yeah, yeah, we do it every year. It takes 10 days. Uh, the route we take all down the coast is 1,700 miles. I think our longest day is today, and then after today, it gets, it gets pretty easy. Yeah. And when was this started? This actually started as a lunch cruise 24 years ago. This is the 24th annual Trepin. Uh, it used to be a lunch cruise. We would leave, you know, in the morning, we'd do lunch, it would be over by two o'clock, and then we'd go to a car show the next day. It seems like it's its own car show, right? Yeah, there. it's kind of a rolling car show slash circus, kind of a carnival feel some days, yeah, for sure. <laughs> Are you going all the way to Mexico? All the way to Mexico. Oh my gosh. <laughs> How did you do that? You had to flip. She's got the suitcase packed and everything. Bug, so I threw all my camping gear. My camping gear is in the front. Suitcase is in the back. I'm so excited. The only thing is since I didn't do any planning, most of these people I think plan. I have no hotel reservations. I have no campsite reservations. I have a bunch of food in the back and a tent and that's what I have. Can you camp at this? I slept in my original 67 bug just once and I will never do it again. <laughs> it's not comfortable. Right. Hi, David. How long have you been doing this and why are you doing this? Oh, since 2015. And uh, that was the first year they started in Port Angeles. And since we lived here, it was like, what are you gonna do? You gotta go. <laughs> and if you're gonna go, you may as well do the whole thing. So we did the whole thing 10 days down and we take five days back. So you're using this bus for the trip. Yes, I'm the unofficial spare driver. I can drive anything and I'll be happy to drive whichever car. I'm very interested in driving the blue Carmanguilla in the end um, because I've never driven one. I've driven Bugs before and Vanagon, Bay Window. Um, we have a bus like this back home in Argentina, a, a 56 split window, but Carmanguillas are more rare where I'm from, so I'm very, very excited too. Uh, make friends with whoever's driving that and <laughs> at least go in the passenger seat. What gave you the idea to come up with a pirate van? So I didn't want to paint my bus. It came looking like this, ratty and kind of pulled out of a field and it's just, you know, it's in rough shape. And my dad redid the interior and, you know, he said, you shouldn't paint your bus. It, people are going to really like it, Nikki. And I'm like, okay. And then I started taking it to shows and realize he's right people love this paint job <laughs> we just did a bunch of work on his bus my bus um, made sure our fan belts are good we've got spare parts galore and it's gonna be yeah we're gonna be ready for anything how many years have you been doing this we've been doing the whole thing from Canada to Mexico yeah, for nine years too much work. Hello. Okay, this is really weird. Oh boy. Oh, oh man. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Ah! <laughs> oh my god. Oh, oh, this is freaky. This is freaky. Mike, Mike, Mike. <laughs> Keep rolling. Keep rolling. Okay. Let go. Okay, one more. Oh, baby. Let's get the baby. Baby needs some baby. Okay. 
Those antlers. I want. I want to touch them. Want some baby? Want some baby? Come on. Oh, your little nose. It's so cute. Oh, it's okay. I'm not gonna hurt you. Well, hello. You're not gonna spit on me, are you? <laughs> How are you? No. <laughs> not so much. He's gonna take the whole bag if we don't move on. <laughs> yeah. Your eye in the back. Up. Oh, eye in the back. <laughs> eye in the back. <laughs> That's funny. Oh. Oh, it's velvet. <laughs> it's velvet. Yeah, my camera. <laughs> you want some? Oh, oh. there's a peanut right there. Oh, his, his is not really little sure. Little no, it's not the good stuff. How about if you come over here, way from the mirror? Okay, there we go. No? You want this now? No, still no? 